Hello everybody and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. I decided to come over here to the world get the world map just so we can get over to Kami's lookout a little bit quicker. Yep, this is the final episode. We're going to go tell we're going to go give Dende the Dragon Balls, and then we are going to go and face Cell at the Cell Games. Hopefully we'll be able to defeat him and save Earth. Alright, so let's just go and talk to Dende. You found all the Dragon Balls. Now all that remains is to finish up any training we still need to do. Once we're ready, let's head for the Cell Games Arena. I don't really need any training. <laughs> I'll do just fine. Alright, so time to go to the Cell Games Arena. And this is the final area in the game. And it's right over here. Cell Games Arena. Let's go around and talk to everybody. Be my guest to fight first. To fight Cell first. I think I think we all know that it will be me who will end up finishing him off. We can we can do this. I know we can. We've worked so hard to fail. We've worked we've worked too hard to fail. Now ah, whatever. It doesn't seem that long. Uh, we fought each other at the World Martial Arts Tournament. Well, that was a good couple of seasons ago, Piccolo, so yeah. Hey, Goku! It seems there's a bit of a snag. You know the Dragon Balls Dende made? Well, they're going to work fine bringing everyone back to life, but unlike on Namek, these Dragon Balls can't revive anyone who's died uh, and been wished back before. I know you'll be able to beat Cell. Goku, I was created solely to destroy you, though I've chosen not to. I have a feeling that, that you'll take care of Cell before I even have a chance to fight. Yeah, me too. You're not even getting a chance to fight, Yamcha. You would just end up dying, and you've died before, so... Actually, it wouldn't be all that bad of a thing if you were to leave, but whatever. There's something not quite right about this tournament. Well, duh, it's for the fate of the Earth. It's not a real tournament. Also, it would be kind of a shame if you died, Tien, because I respect you for what you did to sell back there on those islands. I respect you. You still get props. Hercule? Cell may look powerful, but anything he does is a trick. Um, no. He's actually really, really powerful. Anyways, level 40 Goku gates. Luckily, we are level 40 Goku, so let us go on. I am going to go Super Saiyan before I go into here. Just so I'm Super Saiyan right for the fight and for the cutscene. Okay, so now everybody's moving forth. I'll fight Cell first. Ah, oh, and there he is. Perfect Cell in his Cell Arena. Oh, hello, Hercule. Whoa, wait a second here. I've had enough of you clowns and your stupid jokes. Clear out of here before I get angry. Don't blow a vein grease ball. <laughs> oh, Hercule, you're so fun. I'm sorry, forget it. You ignorant hicks have spent your whole lives playing banjo in the woods, and you don't realize I, Hercule, am the martial arts champion of the world. First up will be Hercule, and his chant, and of course he is going to win. And the Earth will be saved from total destruction. It's payback time. Cell made his ring and now he's gonna sleep in it. The viewers at home may have Cell fly... Seen... Spell, yeah. Words. May have seen Cell flying around or causing huge explosions. Well, I know it's all a trick. Cell do, does it all using mirrors and magnets and bombs. But it's not going to work against me. I know his weaknesses. Let's go! Alright, so now Hercule is going to fight Cell. Oh man, he is doing like no damage. You can see there's no numbers above Cell's head, so he's doing no damage. Your ignorance is painful. Seriously. It, the, the fact that you're trying to fight me is hurting me more than the fact that you're trying to fight me. Just the idea of it is more painful than your than your punches. Please stop. Wow. This is this is absolutely amazing. 
This man is never rest. He just keeps attacking. And Cell doesn't even seem to be able to fight back. This is astounding. Cell's just out, standing there, not doing anything. And now for my finishing move. <laughs> That's hilarious. Your finishing move is you just get destroyed. To be honest, I was rooting for Cell that time. He didn't even need rooting. It was just painfully obvious that Hercule was going to get knocked across the world. Now that, that nonsense is out of the way, what do you say we begin the tournament? Who wants to go first? How about you, Goku, to start? Oh, alright. Goku right up first. Let's do this. Alright, so now we have to fight Cell. I'm just going to be trying to cheese him uh, with my fists as Super Saiyan Goku. I've got enough speed to be able to do this. I've tried this before using actually uh, Kai Blasts. This is actually easier because if you look at it, uh, Goku's strength really outmatches his power. He, he's relatively balanced, but uh, his strength is where he really shines. So Super Saiyan Goku is really going to hurt. Alright. I want to make this fight a little more interesting. I'm tired of being confined to this little ring. Whoa, he just destroyed the ring. Doesn't that mean we technically lose? Oh, I guess you can change the rules since these are the Cell games. How do you like it, Goku? Now the whole desert is our ring. Let's say the last one standing wins the game. No, oh, I just lost the game. Anyways, now uh, let's just beat up Cell using our Super Saiyan prowess and our triple punch. Ah, damn it. I'm getting my ass cheesed over here. I still have three Senzu beans, so yep, three Senzu beans. So um, if I'm running low, that will be my last resort. But I'm going to try to save that later in the fight. But because this point is go as Goku, it's really not that difficult. Um, out of Kai, going to need to. Oh crap! Whoa! Yeah, Cell will use his Kamehameha wave. Damn it, damn it, damn it, being cheesed with Kamehameha over here. Now I know how all of those enemies I've done that to feel. At least he's not special beam cannoning me. Wait for that to go away. Red light, green light. More like blue light. Kamehameha! Uh, let's see, more rocks, more rocks. Okay, here's another rock here. It's like, seriously, it's like waiting at the crosswalk. Uh, I think we only have to get Sail down to a quarter health before we can move on to the next cutscene. Alright, I'm at full health, and, uh, come on. Big Kai, damn it. Well, I am at full health now, but I need more Kai. There's actually a nice safe area over here where I can stand, uh, Sail can't hurt us here. So I am going to go Super Saiyan here. If you need to go Super Saiyan, uh, that is the spot to do it. You can't really hit him just as much as he can't hit you. Alright, it's over, Sail. You win. I give up. I know how strong you are, and there's no point in continuing this fight. I can't beat you. What? Goku just giving up? You coward! Don't do it! Don't give up! Surely you're joking, Goku. You can't just give up and expect to walk away. Sure I can. You beat me, fair and square. I give up. But that doesn't mean the tournament is over. There's still one more person for you to fight. You're not serious. One of them? And exactly which one of these pathetic specimens do you expect me to fight? I need someone to take over. And that someone is Gohan. Gohan? He's like my weakest character. Actually, no, I've off-screen I've off trained him just for this section. Uh, Piccolo is now technically my weakest character. I've got Gohan up to level 35. You can do it. Right, son? Me? Fight Cell? Oh, disappointing. He promised me a challenge and he gives me a child. Think about what you're doing, Goku. If Gohan fights Cell, he's going to die. You're just going to have to trust me, guys. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't know Gohan could win. So what do you say, son? Okay. I'll do it. Wonderful. Let's get started. Well, you just had a change of heart over beating up a child cell. Although, I suppose uh, Gohan's at like 14 at this point. Okay, so I am going to, first of all, uh, 
come over here and so I can go Super Saiyan. So I can... I My endurance is going to be quite helpful in this fight. Cell's going to be over there wasting his time. Oh, I never scanned Cell. I should probably do that once I uh, get over there. Alright, going Super Saiyan. Okay. This is Cell in his perfect form. Hit points 6500, strength 50, power 55, endurance 60. After absorbing Android 18, Cell has reached what he calls his perfect form. Massive biomechanical changes have occurred on all levels of Cell's structure. Cell's facial structure has become more humanoid and his tail antimorphed. Perhaps it's now vestigial? Uh, vestigial meaning it's not really useful anymore, like like your tail bone, bone or your pancreas. Um, his coloration has also changed due to the alteration of his chemical makeup. The effect of his power level is so drastic that it cannot be calculated. But, yeah, I guess so. Alright, so now time to just cheese him using Gohan. Uh, as you can see, Gohan is level 35. His endurance is massive, so we're not going to be taking much damage at all. Well, I guess uh, Cell's uh, strength is pretty high. So we will be taking still some damage. But not as much as if we were lower. I don't have any capsules on me. If I did, I would be using them right now. But, yeah. My, my strategy for Gohan, has, as it's been all along, because I knew this section was coming, is to just uh, be able to la outlast him and cheese him. Alright. Uh, that's one phase down. You know I'm hurting you, Gohan. I can hear your bones being cracked. So if you're going to do anything, do it now. I know why my father wants me to fight. I know why I'm the only one who can take you down. Ever since I was young, I've had a hidden power. I think my father realized if I were to be pushed too far, if I were to lose control, then there would be no telling how powerful I would become. And there, there would be no telling how much damage a power like that could cause. Interesting. You've given me something to work for. You see, Gohan, this hidden power of yours intrigues me. I determined to see it for myself. Ah, yes, Gohan's always had a hidden power. No, it can't. I can't take it. You can't just stand there if you if you want. I'm helping go. I'm helping Gohan. No, you're not. When Gohan is back into a corner with no way out, he'll awaken his furious inner strength. And when that happens, you watch. Gohan will break Cell down once and for all. Let me handle this. Android 16? W what's he doing? Hey, that's against the rules! <laughs> Please, stay back, everyone. I will kill him by self-destructing. What? You're going to self-destruct? You'll kill yourself as well. I have a powerful explosive embedded deep in my body. Didn't Bulma extract that? It was intended to be a last resort. So, no matter how strong you've become, you will not survive this explosion. Uh, think about what you're doing, 16. You destroy life, and you are a parasite to this planet. That's actually very noble. 16's willing to sacrifice his life to destroy Cell. And I see now that it's the only way to end this. Oh, he's gonna go all Chao Su on your ass. In the first season of Dragon Ball Z, Chao Su blew himself up with Nappa, and it didn't kill Nappa. Wait, you can't, 16. Your bomb was removed. Bulma and her dad found the bomb while they were working on you, and they removed it. That's too bad, 16. But if you have a death wish, I won't let you down. Oh no, Cell's just cheesing 16. Oh, poor 16. He was such a good guy. And then he died. Does anyone else want to be a martyr? Hmm, still not angry enough, Gohan. Well, maybe this will help. What the hell? They're tiny little blue cells! What the heck are those things? My children, give them pain. Alright, so now is the section where we have to play as each individual character to take out these little... Cell Juniors. 
HP uh, 4990, strength 46, power 50, endurance 46. These beings were, are created by cell though, through some sort of cellular mitosis. The exact method of reproduction is unknown. These be beings appear to have many of the abilities and strengths of Cell, but lack Cell's intelligence. Their, in their internal makeup seems to be similar to Cell's basic structure. Basically, mini-cells. But don't worry, we'll be able to cheese them. Uh, since uh, Piccolo is power-based, I'm just going to be using a special beam. <coughs> oh! Well, that wasn't very ladylike of me. Anyway, I'm just going to be using a special beam cannon to take on this guy. Yeah, um, Piccolo is my weakest character, but his power is still pr is still um, pretty good. 57. That's what I've been using all these those capsules for on him. I believe the rocks respawn with each different guy, and you actually have to get these guys' HP down to zero. You have to kill them. All right, going to try and refill my Kai here. That's health. Okay, that's a little bit of Kai. Ah, uh, that should be enough. We're going to have to fight these guys with each character. Well, except Goku and Gohan, because they already had their their hand in this. Okay, now it's Vegeta's turn. Uh, all of these Cell Juniors are the same. Okay, I'm going to do this. And because I want to finish this off quickly, energy punches as Super Saiyan um, Vegeta. So you can see how much damage that's freaking doing. That just completely destroyed him. Okay. Yeah, and they play each each uh, character's individual theme through this. Going to wait for Super Saiyan to go up. Um, I have realized that Sword Blast is actually a lot better if, than I realized before. Because if you're up to if you're up close to them, you'll actually hit them with the sword and do damage with the sword and the actual blast. So I will demonstrate that here. Sword Blast. Yep, I, I used pretty much all melee attack. Well, technically, um, they were melee slash energy attacks with uh, Vegeta. So, and I used pretty much all Kai Blasts with Piccolo, so I'm going to be using a mixture for uh, Trunks. Because Piccolo had a good move. Um, and, yeah, see, double hits. Because uh, Piccolo had a great Kai move. Uh, Vegeta, well, it was just enhancing his melee attack. Uh and so trunks them with using both. You. You're talking to Hercule? Who said that? I really don't think that voice is appropriate for this moment, but whatever. Please help me. Take me over to the boy. You must be nuts. Cell is out there. Please, it's for the good of the earth. Uh, enough. I will help you. It would be shameful for me, the world champion, to run away. You are actually pretty noble, Hercule. You do what you can. You're a good guy. You're just cocky. So he just brings the head over them. Gohan, let go of your feelings. It is not a sin to fight for the right cause. I know how you feel, Gohan. You do not like to hurt people. I too have learned these feelings. But it's because you cherish life that you must protect it. Ugh, the sentimental downpour is killing me. It's so nice of you to help, Sixteen, but I think I'll do this my way. Gohan, you have the strength. My scanners, my scanners can sense it. Just let it go. Okay, now Cell actually killed Sixteen. Yet another... Yet another of you could have saved, Gohan. Android Sixteen! You loved life. You gave everything for it. And you were just an android. I just let you die. It, I won't watch this anymore. And here he is going Super Saiyan. Ah! Gohan entered Super Saiyan Rage. You wretched child. Now taste my true power. Okay, this is uh, Gohan technically in Super Saiyan 2 but it's called Super Saiyan Rage in this game. As you can see, all of his stats are maxed out. It doesn't matter what level you are here. Now it is time to take out Cell. Uh, he's actually got some pretty neat looking sprites here, and this Super Saiyan form does not take up any Kai, so feel free to 
use Kamehameha Wave on Cell. And you are going to do a crap ton of damage to Cell in this, and you are not going to be taking very much yourself. So, feel free to fight him any way you want. Cheese him with melee attacks, or just use the Kamehameha Wave, and he will go down easy. Because this, 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 cell, this form is just overpowered as hell. You wretched boy! You monster! He split out Android 18. I'll get you for this. You thought you could beat me, but you can't. I'm going to blow myself up now. Say goodbye to your precious planet. Oh no, he's going to self-destruct. This is not good. He's going to blow up the planet with him. That's going to be one powerful blast. What do we do? Someone came up with someone come up with a plan. Oh boy. There's nothing we can do. How come like three of my characters the same voice? I'm afraid this is it. Cell has beaten us. Listen, I can only think of one way to save the Earth now. What do you think, Goku? I'm going to use my instant transmission ability to teleport Cell to King Kai's planet where he'll explode. Oh, I s but won't you die along with him? As well as King Kai's planet? Goodbye, friend. What? Okay, I don't get why Goku couldn't think to just teleport him into the middle of space. I mean, Goku's expecting to die anyway, so might as well die in the vacuum of space than, uh, than blow up King Kai and his planet. But I guess he didn't have much time to think. You put up a good fight, Gohan. I'm proud of you. What? Dad? Take care of your mother for me. Tell her that I had to do this, Gohan. Goodbye, my son. Goku, no! Goku. He's gone. Daddy! It's okay to cry, little buddy. It's all my fault. Dad didn't have to sacrifice himself. I wish it was me. Gohan, if it wasn't for you, the Earth would all be history. You saved us. No doubt was very proud of you, as he and he did what he had to do. Android 18, I almost forgot about her. She needs our help. She's still alive. I gave him a little dignified voice for this touching scene. Krillin, leave that android alone right now. It's still alive. We should destroy it now. Notice how Vegeta is referring to her as it. What? What the hell? What the hell's happening? Hey, what's that? No, it can't be. He's back. What the hell? Oh boy, this is bad. Cell, but but you died. How are you in your perfect form again? What's going on? My aim is as good as ever. It's good to be back. <laughs> What's wrong? Surprised to see me? Um, yes? You just died. I saw you just died. What the hell? What do you want from a cell? That's your question? What do you want? How about how are you not dead? Nothing. I have everything I could possibly need now. Want to know how I survived? Um, yes! Yes, I do. It's part of my design. Go on. Every one of my cells has its own life, uh, of, has a life of its own. Destroying me is impossible. Huh? I will always come back. After self-destruction, a tiny cell containing a core of my being survived. It be began to reproduce, reconstructing my body one cell at a time. And no in no time at all, my whole body was restored. And to my great delight, I was returned with my full power intact. But wait, you spit out 18. Don't you need 18 to be in your perfect form? How are you in your perfect form if 18 is still alive? Plot hole. Okay. Hey, did you see my master ball while you were down there? No, sorry. Damn. I also discovered that I learned the instant transmission technique. Somehow I absorbed this knowledge from Goku. Goku has failed you. So have you all. You don't scare me, Cell. I'll s Trunks is still alive, but barely. I don't think he's going to make it, guys. Oh, poor Trunks. Trunks! My son. How could I let this happen to my son? He sacrificed everything for me. 
and I've done nothing but ignore him. I won't give up on him. There's still time to change. Cell has tricked me in battle. He has mocked my Saiyan ancestry. But this time it's going to, it's going too far. He will pay. Oh yeah. Yeah, protect him, Gohan. What, you protect Vegeta? I never understood you Saiyans. You are stubborn. Oh, Cell. But we are Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, so we can take you out. Now I understand what Dr. Jiro meant by ultimate perfection. Like Piccolo, I can fully regenerate as long as my core remains. Yes, as long as uh, Piccolo's core is technically his head, so as long as his head is fine, he can completely re regenerate his body. Uh, cell, uh, his core is technically in every cell of his body, so as long as one cell is alive, he can regenerate. It's kind of extremely cheap, but I guess that means that's what he meant by ultimate perfection. Like Saiyans, my power increases greatly after I heal from an attack. So yeah, if he is completely destroyed, uh, his cells will regenerate and he will be stronger than ever just like Saiyans do. And like Freeze, I can survive anywhere, even in the vacuum of space. Yeah, one kind of speaks for himself, so even if you were to like throw him into the freaking sun... Well, I guess that might work if you throw him in the sun, but that's not what they do. I thought Jiro only meant f for me to destroy Earth. But I know how my tr my true destiny. I th I don't know what Jero's deal is. Maybe he was just cynical. Using my new instant transmission technique, I can travel from world to world, laying waste as I go. I am the universe's end. Oh, this is bad. What's wrong, Gohan? Aren't you going to try and stop me now? What's the point? We've lost. Now all of us will die together, and will be and I'll be with my dad. Wow, that's pretty morbid. You've got to be joking, Gohan. Giving up already? That's nothing like the Gohan I know. Dad, where are you? The other world. And thanks to King Kai, I can communicate to you telepathically. I used my instant transmission to teleport myself to and sell to King Kai's planet before he exploded. It was the only place I could think of. I... I I guess I should have brought them to space, but, well, eh. I know you have the power to beat Cell, Gohan. Now give him the biggest energy attack you've got. You can't doubt yourself. And don't feel sorry for me, because King Kai and I couldn't have been any more... F couldn't be having any more fun up here if we tried. Speak for yourself, homewrecker! But all of this is my fault! It's my fault you died! Don't blame yourself. If anything, this is Cell's fault. Make him pay for what he's done. I will! Alright, so... You said release the biggest energy attack I can? Kamehameha! You are going to die, Cell! You are going to die at my Kamehameha! Okay, that's enough. Time for cheesing 101! Huh. Alright, Cell, die, die! Come on, come on! Going to kill Cell. You know what? I've got freaking Senzu beans that I'm not going to use at any other time. Might as well use them to just refill my Kai and Kamehameha! Ah, Kamehameha! Damn it, Kamehameha! Alright. And here we see a pretty epic scene of Gohan and Cell clashing with their Kamehameha waves. It's really a nice touch. I do love this. Dig deeper, Gohan! Yes. These are your last minutes, boy. Make them count. Oh, boy. Ah, but all the Z-Fighters are helping by blasting Cell. That's actually really nice. Would you stop interfering? I don't know how Cell did that, but whatever. He's Cell. He can do whatever he wants. Ah, uh, come on, Gohan. Gohan, raise it higher. You have to win this one. Come on, you can do this. And apparently they had Senzu beans or something. I don't know. Maybe he, just, maybe he had split attention, so he couldn't hit them that hard. They just keep lining up to die. Ooh, that's that's bad. Vegeta, do something. Arrgh! Just don't just scream. Do something. Release it, Gohan. Release everything. Remember all the pain he's caused. The people he's hurt. 
Now make that your power! Come on, Gohan. Say goodbye! Come on, Vegeta, help us! That's right, big bang attack! Vegeta! Go on, now's your chance! Yes, finish him off! Destroy every cell in his body! That's right. Boom! Cell is has been wiped out. Gohan achieved level 37. Oh, I guess I'm bronze level 36. Attribute bonus, strength 3, power 3, endurance 2. Alright. He did it. Cell's energy is completely vanished. Yep, with that one giant Kamehameha wave, Gohan was able to destroy every cell in Cell's body, so there's no way he can even regenerate. You mean, you mean we're really safe again? Yeah, bud. Looks like it. Looks like saving the world took a lot out of Gohan. Don't worry, Gohan. We can take you to Dende and he'll fix you right up. I'll take trunks. Great, I'll take 18. Huh? Well, she's a victim of Cell, and we might as well bring her along. Yeah, she's a powerful foe, and if you can make a foe, a powerful foe, a powerful ally, then... Well, it's pretty much doubling your strength. Let's go, Piccolo. You guys go ahead. Alright. That was brave what you did. You can save your applause. Now go on, I don't need anyone to help. Suit yourself. Alright, Vegeta. But that was very noble of you. How can you die, Kakarot? What have you left for me? Oh, that's right. Vegeta wanted to prove himself as the strongest being in the universe. And knowing that Goku is the strongest being in the universe, he wanted to kill Goku and take that title for himself. But Goku died with cells, so now Vegeta's left with nothing. I'll never have my chance to prove my strength against you. Yeah, Goku was his ultimate challenge, and now that he's dead, Vegeta just feels empty inside. You died without fear. What does that make me? Oh, Vegeta. What purpose do I have now? You can love your son. You can love your Earth. You can love your wife. Hercule! What on Earth? What crazy Earth happened? Well, what if I said I defeated Cell single-handedly? That's right, I kept my left hand behind my back and I pushed him in the face. Just how'd you do that? I just told ya. Piece of cake, really. I just got so irritated with that light show tricks, I shouted, Hey, I've had enough of your light show tricks. And I just walked over to Cell and gave him a good chop. Chop! <laughs> But then what happened to the little boy and all of his friends? Well, they all thanked me kindly and went home, of course. Yep, Hercule is taking credit for killing Cell. But I guess the, the Z Fighters don't really need the credit. And that's Goku's statue. Journal update. We're now playing as Piccolo for some reason. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, statues, um... If we get each level character to level 50, we can go and enter their level 50 gate and uh, and get a statue from it. Uh, but you get Goku just for being the game, since you can't get him to level 50. Well, I suppose you could, but there is no level 50 gate for Goku. You just have to kill Cell to get his gate. Alright, so uh, time to wish everybody back using the Dragon Balls. Hello, Dende. Ah, that was a difficult battle. Well, I suppose I was leveled up enough to... For it to be not difficult. The seven Dragon Balls. Gohan, you're okay. I'm really sorry about your father. Don't be sad. He's not. He told me himself when he talked to me. He was right with, there with me by my side, giving me advice and rooting me on. That was how I was able to beat Cell. My dad helped me. You made us all proud. I'm sure you've gotten strong, kid. Gohan beat Cell? Yeah, I bet you forgot about that voice. <laughs> you should thank Krillin, 18. He stayed by your side the whole time. Krillin didn't do jack! It was nothing, really. I couldn't just leave you there. You didn't do anything, Krillin. You just kind of stood there. 
in the general vicinity of her. Krillin, you have a crush, crush on Android 18. Krillin and 18 sitting in a tree. Okay, enough of that. What am I, a kid? <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Smooth. Do you expect me to suddenly just fall for you? Big strong guy rescues me, and now I'm his forever. Not that easy. <laughs> We've wasted enough time here. Let's summon the dragon so we can undo all the damage Cell has done. Yes, of course. Eternal dragon, by your name I summon you forth. Shenron! And now we are summoning Shenron the eternal dragon for our two wishes. We only really see his tail, but we can see his face in the text box. Choose your words carefully as you speak. I will make two of your wishes come true. Shenron! Yes, we all know. Please, revive all of those on Earth who were killed by... So How come you get to make the wish, Yamcha? You didn't do Jack. You did less than Krillin. And Krillin didn't do anything. How does that make you fa feel? Uh, I guess you just wanted to do something. Your wish is granted. Okay. So as I feared, I don't sense Goku's energy. Well, yeah, he was brought back before when you were the one who killed him, Piccolo, actually. You killed him, and then they brought him back. But, so I guess you only have yourself to blame, Mr. Green Pointy Ears. Since Dende created a new Earth Dragon, I was hoping Goku could be revived. This is true. Um, if Dende made a new dragon, well, I guess he just revived the old dragon, so it's not really a new dragon. But I guess it's not possible. Yeah, Goku is dead, dead now. He can't be wished back. He's just gone. What is your second wish? I am waiting for it. Listen, can't we use our whole second wish to revive Goku? All of us really want him to come back. How badly you want it matters not to me. Goku has been revived before, so it is impossible. Hey, everybody. King Kai's allowing me to talk to you telepathically. Yeah, we get that at this point, Goku. Do I have a say in this? Lately, I've been thinking about why Earth is always in danger. And I realize most of the guys who attack it were after me. Think about it. Frieza, Cell, the androids. I think it would be better for Earth if I just didn't come back this time. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I really appreciate your feelings for me. But you're going to have to come up with something else for your wish. Ooh, wish for a thousand tacos! That would be awesome! The other world is my home now. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> you know, even though he was saying goodbye, I don't feel too sad because he was so cheery about it. You've given us so much, Dad. Thank you. Alright. Excuse me. You have one wish remaining. Well, if we can't think of a good one, how, ba how about a bad one? Wouldn't it be, be cool if we were all filthy rich? That's actually not a bad idea, but consider the tacos, Yamcha. Consider the tacos. With the beef and the cheese. Guys, tacos, come on! Um, I will wait no longer. Do you have a wish or not? I'm pretty sure technically if they don't make a wish... Shenron will only go away for six months. But they will only have one wish then. Yes, I do. I'd like for you to turn the androids into human beings so they can live in peace with the, re with the rest of us. Technically, they're not androids. Technically, they're cyborgs. That wish cannot be granted now. It is beyond my power to do so. I understand that because it wouldn't... I don't think it would be all that hard, but whatever. Technically, I'm technically a lot of Android 18 is still human. I know for a fact that she has a she she has a, a human uterus because uh, spoilers later in in the series, uh, Krillin and and 18 have a kid. I believe it's her name is Malin. So she has a human uterus. I don't know what other human part she has, but her uterus is definitely human. So I don't know what parts of her are mechanical. 
maybe just a few of her external organs, like her skin and her arms and stuff. How about this? Can you take the explosives out of the androids' bodies? Oh, well, the explosive as well. That shouldn't be too hard. There. It has been done. You could have made tacos. You could have made tacos. I'm sure Bulma could have taken that out. You passed up a thousand tacos. What a waste. Thanks very much. You're welcome. I must go now. And that's the Eternal Dragon. Granting our wishes. I wouldn't start celebrating if I were you. If you think you won my heart just because your lousy wish you're mistaken. What a cold bitch! But it was kind of nice of you. What a warm bitch! Would you like to join us? No thanks. Again, cold bitch. Oh man! I really wanted to bone her! Whoa, Krillin! You should really watch what you say. You are so in there, man. That chick digs you. Well, it's about time to get going. Yeah, same here. You take good care of your mother, Gohan. You're the man of the house now. Pretty sure Goku already told him that, but whatever. Will you be staying here, Piccolo? Yes. Goodbye, Gohan. Be sure to visit. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm sure Kami's knowledge could help Dende because Com, because Piccolo technically has Kami's knowledge now. He's not really Piccolo; he is the Namek, but we, everybody just calls him Piccolo because they can. All right, and with this little walking down, down here we have reached the end of the game. We get to see a little clip of Gohan flying through all these familiar areas. And, well, I guess this is the end of it. Final thoughts on this game? Well, it's a great game. I love it. It's got great story. It reflected the anime really well. J unlike the first one, which was just a joke. But this one is is so great. It's it, And it's the middle child. A legion's ahead of the first one. Not as great as the second one, but it is pretty damn close. It's a great middle series for the Legacy of Goku series. And I do love it so much. It's This is my childhood right here. I know there's more nostalgic games for me, like Spyro the Dragon, for instance. But this game is just incredible for me. Flying past Kami House. There's Master Roshi and Oolong. You didn't do anything! I suppose Master Roshi taught us a few moves. Alright, and here's Gohan going back home to meet his mother. Hello, Chi-Chi. What's for dinner? Ah, uh, such a great game. Developed by Webfoot Technologies, Inc. You guys sure know how to make a Dragon Ball Z game. Oh, I... It's just this great game. I don't know, it's it's so fun. The, the battling is good, as well as the leveling system. It, if you if you know how to do it, training is really easy. I mean, I, I got it took me maybe ten minutes to get Gohan up to that high level. And there are a few difficult parts, but what's a good game without a little challenge? I mean, there are some stupid annoying parts like the egg game and the Triceratops game that did not need to be there. They were just overly frustrating and unnecessary. Honestly, I. I injured myself to the pr point of breaking my skin to on that stupid egg game, but well, that can be forgiven with just how good the rest of the game is. I do feel kind of sorry for Cell because he didn't he didn't really have a purpose, so and he was programmed to destroy the Earth, I guess, but he did not. We wasn't even able to do that. Cell is my favorite villain. Frieza's just kind of a douche, and uh, Boo is sort of mindless destruction, so he doesn't really even have a personality. But Cell, he's got a personality, he's got a good personality, he's got a, he's got motives, well, he kind of has motives, he just makes his own motives. He just kind of goes off on a kit, on a uh, destructive rampage slash killing spree for shits and giggles. And 
That sells motive. He just wants to destroy the universe because that's his only lot in life. He feels n after he he thinks after he destroys the Z fighters, he's not gonna have any more challenge. So he's just gonna go throughout the universe destroying shit because he just can. And he was right to be. He was rightfully the ultimate life form. He, um, because if you at least leave one cell of him alive, then he will completely regenerate. And that's not good for anybody. But eventually Gohan was able to take him out with a massive Kamehameha wave. Which is Goku's signature move, so it's just so... It's just so good. The signature... Pretty much the move of the series. The Kamehameha wave. It's a staple of the entire Dragon Ball series. And I believe we are approaching the end of the... The credits. Alright. And so here we see Trunks actually going going back in time. <laughs> We've leveled him up so much, he's going to be able to destroy uh, Cell in his first form, no problem. So he's going to go, as well as the androids, so he's going to go back to his, his future and set everything right. <laughs> oh, Android 1718. Hey, it's Gohan's little friend. I guess he wants to die like everyone else. Yeah, it's weird to see the androids evil here again, especially having 17 back. The name is Trunks. And this is for Gohan. And he just he's completely destroyed 18 in two hits. It can't be! And this is for the people you've killed. Oh, man. Well, that just happened. Now there's just one thing that needs to be done. <laughs> Cell in his first form, which would be no problem for this uh, Super Saiyan Gohan, or Trunks. Gohan in this timeline is dead. Come out, Cell. I know you're here. Why is he in Capsule Corp? Whatever. Oh yeah, he was trying to steal the, the time machine. That's why he's in Capsule Corp. Having trouble finding the androids, huh? Oh boy. How do you know this? I just destroyed them. Now you'll never be able to absorb them and become complete. What? I've been searching for them this whole time. But it doesn't matter, Trunks. I'll just steal your time machine and absorb them in the past. I don't think so. The nightmare is over, Cell. Yeah, I guess um, this Cell uh, doesn't exactly have the ability to completely regenerate. I believe, oh, like Piccolo, his head is his center, so he won't be able to regenerate like a uh, perfect Cell can. Or maybe Trunks was able to just destroy every Cell. Anyways, the end. That's the end of the game. It's... That's it! I've already said all I can say about this game. Wonderful game. I am glad I was able to play it. I'm glad I was able to share it with you. And so I... This finale is getting ridiculously long at this point. So I guess the only thing left to say is see you in other world.